Hi Leos! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of March 2019 Career and Finance, Love and Romance, Spiritual Guidance Reading. Uh, welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. Uh, thank you for those who have liked, shared, donated, and whom have come to me for month-to-month -month personal readings. Uh, I greatly appreciate uh, your trust in my gift. All right, so, <clears throat> wow, where to start with Leo? All right, so I've been praying over the cards. I've blessed them with my stones. I'm going to be starting with the Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marsetti, and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. I've asked Spirit to please provide me with spiritual guidance for the Leo or that particular group of Leos who need the information the most. All right, so uh, this particular Leo energy that I'm feeling for the second half of March 2019, is a Leo who has been waiting for some information, waiting for some communication, uh, texting, talking, tweeting uh, with another. Uh, this person uh, has not been making very good decisions and or maybe the Leo that's listening hasn't been making some really good decisions. Uh, they're thinking about this. Uh, they've been feeling a little bit burdened in the area of finance and or, um, yes, they've been waiting on information to hop, skip, and jump and move into a new direction and make their wishes come true. So by the third week of March 2019, this particular Leo is uh, a little bit anxious about their security and or stability. I do believe that they will be receiving by mid-March 2019 uh, the information they've been waiting for when it comes maybe to a home environment or making changes when it comes to the home, maybe moving to a new home or a new business. The information this Leo has been waiting for is going to come in quickly and or unexpectedly and it's going to make them feel secure but still there is some anxiety. Spirit's telling me to tell the Leo that you have the key to success when it comes to going at a distance, moving to a distance, getting beyond the obstacles of when, where, how am I going to finally move into this new path, into this new direction. So the burden, the anxiety has to do with a well-dressed, pasculine, pasculine passionate masculine. <laughs> um, for some Leos, this is a person you're with that you're traveling or moving with, or this is you contemplating moving towards another if you're single. The burden may be that this person is at a distance or that they are not living with you in your home environment like you would like for them to do or be. The burden could have to do with distance or having to travel or move. The burden could be, uh, which way is the right way for me to go? Am I making a mistake? Uh, by the third, going into the fourth week of March 2019, this Leo is wanting to roll the dice and take a risk when it comes to bringing an old path to an end. So whatever is ending was meant to end spiritually is what I'm hearing in the chapter, this chapter of your life at this time in your journey here on earth. Now, by the end of March 2019, I believe that there is a desire to reach out, to connect, to communicate with others, a group of people regarding this bigger, better home, this bigger, better business opportunity or environment. This Leo is going to be feeling really, really happy and fulfilled at the end of March going into early April because they're able to sweep away from maybe an old home environment or business situation. So again, I'm going to be starting with the Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marsetti. I'm going to be doing a circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Leo, male or female with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of March 2019. Okay, so we do have a Leo here in the center of the circle spread 
who is wanting to send out messages to others or another. It could be that they are, again, waiting to receive a message of happiness and joy. <clears throat> they've been very hopeful, but it seems like they've been hoping and waiting for a period of time for this abundance to blossom in their life. That's in the first, or well, from the second to the third week of March, 2019. Now in the thoughts position, this Leo has the major arcana justice. So spirit's saying, take off the blindfold and recognize that justice is now turning in your favor. You are going to be moving into a path of great balance as you cut away from what no longer serves you. People, places, circumstances, situations, or environments. Pray to spirit to step through the doorway of happiness towards your dreams. And remain faithful to being hopeful and not negative. Because negativity will slow things down or block your progress. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have a Leo who is feeling stuck or trapped in some way. So, Spirit's saying with the Eight of Swords, remember, this is just a figment of your imagination. This is not reality. So, take off the blindfolds, walk through between the swords that are making you feel trapped, and know that by the third or fourth week of March 2019, uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement and even a higher sexual drive because of the happiness uh, you are feeling in relationship to your home or business change. So there's a lot of excitement, and yet this Leo is feeling stuck or trapped. It's like they're, they're ready to move on, they're fearful of moving on, they're hoping to move on, but they're worried about balance and how things are going to turn out. So free yourself from those worries and concerns, especially in relation to those who love you as you are making these changes. Now, in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we've got the Five of Cups. So, Spirit's saying, remember the wonderful blessings you have in your life. Don't mourn what has been, for that is over. And it may have been really good at some point in time, but Spirit's always trying to bring you new paths of peace, joy, and happiness. So, when it comes to a caring, committed connection with another, make sure you are walking in your highest, best path. You are doing things for the highest, best reasons, uh, making the highest, best decisions, not only on your behalf, but on the behalf of those who share your life with you. In your actions position by the end of March going into early April, we have a Leo with the Queen of Wands energies who is setting goals and meeting goals and continuing to set and meet goals. They're very, very excited to come together and share their achievements with others. Uh, Spirit saying your fifth chakra and Archangel Gabriel is going to help for you to speak to others about this beautiful abundance that's taking place in your life. Spirit's giving this Leo the, the strength to get to the truth of your success. Wow, why would you need the strength to get to the truth? Spirit's saying you're going to be profiting when it comes to abundance, happiness, and joy. Now, in your emotional aspects position, Leo, by the end of March, early April, we have brokenhearted energies. Even though you're feeling good, it's like you're mourning what you're leaving behind. You're feeling in the energies of despair because of your worries and fears. Reach out to those whom by which you're feeling out of connection with. People love you even if you don't think they do. And if you want to ensure that energy within you, reach out to them. And you'll find that they are, they care about you just as much as you do them. So in your uh, subconscious position, we do have the lover's energy here. 
making a head or heart decision as you meet up with others and learn more about this home business or this move to a new home or business. There's an offer of abundance and Spirit saying, accept that abundance. Make those changes. Now, some Leos are feeling stuck in a relationship, partnership, circumstance, or situation whereby they may be thinking, I'm in a marriage or I want to be married, but uh, I'm focused on meeting up with someone because I'm lusting the passion. I have the passion of lust for the flesh. But if I go the distance and travel and move or move to another Will it be a mistake? And Spirit saying, of course, with the Five of Cups, real love is the love that you share with your mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, grandparents. That's what real love is. Passion is a completely different thing, and we can lose ourselves in the energies of passion. If you need to meet up with someone, maybe you need to meet up with someone to get beyond the burden of anxiety so that you can move on. Now in the day-to-day -day aspects position, see, we've got day-to-day, -day, this Leo looking at what was. It was great, it was wonderful, it was fun, but now it's time to research a new direction. To take a risk as you step through the doorway of abundance, give thanks to the caring connections you already have in your life. We are never trapped or stuck. We can take our mind, body, and soul and move whichever direction we want. But we need to remember that in the end, there could be some despair here if somebody's not making a balanced decision. All right, so in the inner strengths position, Spirit is giving this Leo the strength to lay down a path that has been going on for a long period of time. To look at the profit and the benefits of the truth of what is transpiring for you. Your hopeful desires are going to help for you to sweep away from what was and to communicate your happiness to those around you as you walk away from something that a Leo brought upon themselves. Wow, so they're going to come down to a personal reading for different Leos here. Now, in a three-card summary to my right with the same Gilded Tarot deck, we may have someone coming towards a Leo who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But remember, that page of cups we saw earlier that you are hopeful of for some when it comes to love, uh, it's just that. It's just communication that sometimes we can blow up into much more than what it was meant to be. Again, some Leos may be dealing with a Gemini with a lover's card here or someone who has Gemini in their chart who may be coming towards them. But remember, it's about making the right decisions so you can maintain fairness and balance in your life. Spirit's giving you the courage to choose a path. Some may be tempted by something tied to the past. It's a very karmic time. So good choices will bring good results and blessings and bad choices will bring the opposite. They will bring consequences. By the third going into the fourth uh, week of March 2019, Spirit's saying think about the next chapter of your life when it comes to money, inheritances, loans, a win. The Hierophant is telling you uh, that it is time indeed to end an old chapter of your life and to move towards a new, more fulfilling and abundant chapter where your abundance is going to grow and blossom. For some, there may just be a need to ground yourself when it comes to decisions regarding money and to watch yourself when it comes to fantasy. Move towards a new home or business opportunity 
and use your imagination as you are creating this new exciting direction for yourself. Now, I'm, I'm almost unable to ignore that for some Leos, you may be dealing with someone who has Earth in their chart, uh, who may come to the realization that they've been dragging their feet. And uh, at some point, uh, Spirit's going to bring the Leo back to the thoughts of, I already have great things in my life. I have wonderful things to move towards. Yes, I can get together and have a good time with someone, but I need not give away to the pet lust of the flesh. At some point, this Leo is being given the major arcana, the temperance angel, to heal from all that is transpired. When it comes to someone who is, whether it's the Leo or someone else with the Seven of Swords, uh, acting with sly and cunning behavior. It's time to heal, let go, and move towards happiness and joy. To speak your truth and stand by your boundaries with those around you. Wow. Yeah, so for some... I feel like by the fourth week of March 2019, some Leos who are dealing with someone who may have Virgo in their chart, uh, they're thinking about either recommitting to a current partnership and or whether or not they should uh, commit to this, maybe someone who has Virgo in their chart. But as your ship is coming in, if there's going to be a, a need to make a decision about what has to end before you can move forward. It could be, Leo, that you're just with someone who's very financially abundant, secure, and stable when it comes to their finances. And they are the one you're going to be celebrating this change with. In fact, the whole family is going to be celebrating a change with you. So the message is going to kind of come quickly and unexpectedly when it comes to forward movement. Think of it as leaving troubled waters behind. By the end of March, going into early April, Leo, you have the major arcana, the judgment card. So Spirit's saying we are going to help you to make decisions on behalf of yourself and those who love you for the highest, best good. So you can let go of a battle that has been going on for too long. This could have to do with thoughts, emotions, addictions. Because no matter how much you try to fight this battle, it's like you're always losing the war. Wow. <laughs> wow. For some Leos, you may be deciding between an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, spirit saying. Uh, there will be heartache tied to a passionate connection because it wasn't built on a solid foundation, but instead they want you to focus on a new creative project, hobby, gift, talent, skill, or environment that you have been waiting to hear about. There may be a playful connection with someone, but with the Two of Swords here, it's time to make a decision that may feel difficult. It's time to take off the blindfold and to honor your truth of what is in your highest best good. Again, there may be some sadness regarding someone who has Pisces in their chart or uh, Spirit is bringing you the truth that an old commitment partnership or path journey that has been long and difficult has come to an end and it's time to bring it to an end. Again, that could be about unhealthy thoughts, behaviors, patterns, cycles, addictions. You may have been thinking as though you didn't have enough in your life, feeling sad, down, and depressed, or poverty conscious, but Spirit's saying we are going to bring you the light at the end of the tunnel. We want you to get excited about a new beginning, a new journey. So listen to your intuition and don't allow negative thoughts, feelings, or people to hold you back because you're stepping into success. And by the end of March especially around the 31st of March 2019, you're going to be receiving the energies of happiness and joy and fulfillment. This is going to give you the strength to sweep away from what was and to go towards what will now be, what you are now creating as you lay down something that has become a weight on your back as you walk away from who and or what no longer serves you. 
So, I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to ask Spirit for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this particular Leo energy with clearly defined messages and a word of prayer to take them on into and through the second half of March 2019. Wow. Speaking of home, your home is protected by the angels. Ask Archangel to help ground you, as this is a time of great self-respect. People celebrating your achievements, you celebrating uh, your decisions. You are guarded and protected at this time, and you and your loved ones are safe. So the prayer says, Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants, even uh, your family who don't live with you. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, my mortgage, and or my taxes. It's a time of celebration and to free yourself from what no longer serves you. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Take care and God bless.